Okay, I admit, I'm a tad bit upset. I'm 31 years old and I'm just now adding linen pants to my closet. You just feel free to flame me in the comments because of that. I'm ready to make fun of myself because I was missing out on the comfort, the breathability, but also something very different to add into a ton of outfits, even streetwear. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish it. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka T Yeezy still for the time being because I'm working on getting out uh, the rest of those Yeezy unboxings that next two up on my list. I wanted to say we're the 700 V3s but there's two of them so I don't know if I'll tackle those or just do the 350 V2 bread. We'll get to that but thanks so much for tuning in. If you're brand new and you like what you see hit the subscribe button hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. I just unboxed the Air Jordan 1 low neutral gray and women sizing but then also the air jordan 6 women's gold hoop so please be sure to check out both of those reviews i'm sure i'll link them somewhere up here if i can remember to so you can easily take a look at those i still think like that six is one of the best drops of all year all 2021 and i'm not just talking women's drops or jordan drops i'm just talking all year but we're not here about that we're here about linen pants and i have more linen pants on the way i also have uh, a shirt and a hoodie other artists that I like shamelessly and I don't care, okay? So you can try to guess in the comments who that is. If you follow me on Twitter at underscore talks with TJ, you know who that is, possibly based on a conversation I had. Also, Suns won game one, but I'm filming this immediately after game one, so I don't know how we fared in game two, so stay tuned for that. But Booker took care of business, game one. CP3 is out to get that ring. Uh, he is holding nothing back, so I really hope they took game two so they can head to Milwaukee and handle the rest of business. I want Suns in four so that I can get back to like a normal sleeping schedule because these West Coast games are not cool. Like I'm already... Uh, a Warriors fan so I'm already up late all the time anyway and now we have the playoffs and we're on this west coast time and it's just it's doing a lot on my sleep schedule but I have more linen pants on the way so all of the pants that you guys see here well I say all the, the two pants that you guys are seeing here are from H&M um, so ladies you can go pick those up there now yes I picked these up from the women's department the one pair the navy pair though I'll be honest with you men you could possibly get away with this but just also go check the men's department because they have linen pants there too the linen pants will typically come in either like a jogger form where they taper down at the bottom an open leg or open hem um, which is what the navy pair is I guess more like more more that I more likely to be described as that to have an open hem and then you have the pants that are just relaxed they taper down a little but they don't cuff your leg and you're able to roll them up a little bit which is the traditional style like when I think of linen pants I think of somebody on vacation they're on the beach and they have the white linen pants and they're rolled up and they may have a white linen shirt on and or who knows or a tank or just a bikini top or something I don't know it does scream vacation or on the beach and I don't see I guess linen pants incorporate it with a lot of other looks like I'm the person that would absolutely put linen pants on with a jersey I don't care like I want to be comfortable but also if I think it works especially like color wise I'm gonna do that so like don't be surprised if you see me in white linen pants and my sparks jersey which I still have to do a video on but don't be surprised so um I went with the small for both because they tend to fit a little roomier and more relaxed so I went with the small in both and I love the navy pair so much that I went back I think it's called like a light yellow but it's really more so like a tan colorway and from everything I've seen a lot of the colors that you will typically see for linen pants of course white but also navy tan black there there were certainly olive pants which I thought about getting but I, I went a different direction and went and got the tan and then the navy blue and they fall over kicks quite nicely if you're looking at the navy pair if you're looking at the white pair because you can roll them up you're still able to showcase a lot of different low profile sneakers so whether it is air force ones or air maxes or yeezys or you're in yeezy slides because i actually wore these with the yeezy slides that i unboxed on my channel recently you can pair this with a multitude of things so don't think it has to be linen on linen because i see that a lot where it's always a 
linen top and linen bottom. No, I've worn the linen pants with just a regular t-shirt, linen pants with a tank or a jersey, throw a denim jacket on. I think playing around with the different textures and materials is a nice way to switch it up and make the outfit yours. You don't have to, everybody doesn't have to look the same in the summer just because they're wearing linen. And I appreciate someone's comment. They said like, oh, linen, we're getting into grown fabrics here. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. We're breaking into some grown fabrics here. And that is a good thing. Evolution and growth is a good thing. However, as soon as you find something you like, you try to go get all the colors before they're gone. And I'm actually glad I did because I think the navy might be gone already. So that's why I'm glad I ordered those. Plus there was a holiday sale. So I got, I got caught up in the propaganda of fourth of july sale and if you spend this much this much is off and you get free shipping i was like well since you said that i had already uh looked at or at least added to my favorites a shirt and a hoodie and then it finally went down to like 23 21 dollars together that was like a no-brainer i was gonna pick that up and i think the linen pants were like 34 dollars so 60 dollars total three items from h&m as soon as those come in i'll unbox them just so you guys can see how they fit but please sound off uh, as soon as summer hits do you automatically turn to linen pants do you swap those out for denim or sweats or anything that's hotter i mean even if i don't want to wear cargo pants because i'm Sometimes it is rather hot for that. I think linen is a good switch up and I could also put on more of a slouchy tee, a blazer and keep it moving. So that's my video for today. It's a Friday. I really hope you guys uh, hit on those Jordan 3s if that's something you're interested in. Absolutely not on my radar. There's not a lot in the month of July on my radar. I'll just be honest with you. More so clothes than anything else. And I don't know that I want to spend any more money on clothes right now. We'll see. Month is still young, we'll see, but I'll absolutely keep you guys updated, especially if we have the Jordan 3s in store, you know, give you some feedback on how that release went. Thank you so much. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.